Ha ha, what's good, man? It's your boy, Drama House A Game Entertainment. You already know. Battle Rap Soul here, Coon Gang, bringing you the latest on these suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. What's really good, you dig? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Sonetta, man, I just finished watching your blog, my nigga, on that, um, um, Brother Polite. So called brother, you understand me? That Gucci shit I just did for y'all, I had did a, the Brother Polite and some, um, Tommy sort of my shit. It was all together, but I cut that shit off because it wasn't this like it was kind of boring. I felt you understand me. I really wanted it in my bag, so I cut that shit off and gave y'all a little short version of that Gucci shit. You understand me? But after I seen Sinetta shit, I'm like, damn, I should have put that shit out. But I really don't be want to put out no real weak shit. Sometimes you know, a nigga, energy don't be up or whatever. It is what it is. But I watched that shit with Sinetta and uh, um, not Sinetta with um. Brother Polite and uh, Tommy sort of mine. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this nigga talking about? This nigga talk about all this movement shit and the black community and all this shit. And then the black community try to step up and do some shit. And this nigga knock it? You feel me? I don't care about what situation it's about, nigga. It's a start. Black people like, boom, we coming together. I seen Kodak Black, Florida Evans... Tracy Chapman, somebody get that nigga guitar face ass the fuck up out of here. Tell me, I'm gonna wear my Gucci. Nigga, wear your Gucci. We don't give a fuck about you. You dumb. You dumb. You niggas from the South that be that rapping like that. Y'all niggas dumb. You understand me? Pull up on it, leave it on God. I like it. I like it. I like it. But still, my nigga, we don't give a fuck about you. We 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 don't give a fuck about what Kodak Black thinks. So. You out the nigga, you out the conversation. So you can wear your Gucci. We ain't talking about you. But Floyd, my nigga, god damn, Floyd, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? We love you as a boxer. We love you, champ. But come on, Floyd, man. We we back you up, my nigga. When they try to crucify you, being a born fighter or this or that or whatever, this or that, or nigga, we always right there supporting you. And you gonna try to rock us like this, my nigga? You talking about this nigga brother polite talking about yeah him buying Gucci half a million dollars on Gucci but um uh, make his brand look better nigga how does it make his brand look better it make the nigga look more stupid to them white folks it make that nigga look more stupid just like it make him look stupid to them black folks because that nigga should have his own shit by now making it fly you understand me it, it's it's just in the nigga jeans to want to be like them people you understand me them motherfuckers in the back in the days they didn't fight for they didn't fight for their own shit they was fighting for shit like Martin Luther King had niggas fighting like we need to be able to um come together we should be able to use the same bathroom same bathrooms, ride the same bus together. We shouldn't have to sit on the back. We should be able to sit wherever we want. We should be able to sit together. Why? Why we just couldn't have our own buses, our own bathrooms, our own police? You understand me? We would have came out better. But no, you motherfuckers always want to combine. Y'all want to be just like y'all motherfucking oppressor. You understand me? I don't give a fuck about no president. Obama was a shitty president. Another oppressor, Donald Trump. Niggas trying to blame it on, on, all on Donald Trump. Nigga, that shit was on Obama watch too. You understand me? You can't pick and choose, nigga. They all wrong. They all ain't shit, man. And brother polite, you you a goddamn clown, man. That's why niggas be coming at you the way they do, cause they see it in you, man. You a sucker, man. That was some sucker shit you was up there doing. It before you even started speaking, I thought you was on some sucker shit just being on Tommy Sotomayor's show, my nigga. You know he the biggest coon. You understand me? That's what he do. He make his living off cooning. Shitting on black people and then as time go on, he try to fix it up. Nigga, you can't fix that shit up, nigga. Your past is horrible, my nigga. It's calling women bitches and all type of shit. But then when a black man get in your face, ain't none of that bitch shit talking. Ain't none of that big talk, nigga. You acting pussy and shit. You understand me? That's why I don't understand you motherfuckers. This nigga's walking around with them make America great hats on and shit. Black people. What does that do for you? How does that benefit you? How? It don't. You motherfuckers is trolling and you looking stupid as fuck, my nigga. You looking to be killed. You looking for violence. That's all you trying to do. Because if you run up in my hood with them hats on, nigga, it's going to get violent for you. If somebody see it or if somebody want to take it there, somebody might think it's funny. Like, oh, look at this clown. But it's going to be an ignorant nigga in that motherfucker in that bunch that ain't going to feel that shit. And nigga, he going to want to get he gonna wanna get physical with you, understand me? Because he going to want you to take that motherfucking hat off. Because, nigga, he might not even know nothing about politicians and Donald Trump or none of that. But he know about that goddamn hat. 
And he wants he wanted off your motherfucking head, my nigga. So brother polite, man, get your shit together, my nigga, because that's why we look at you as a clown, man. You not you you don't do nothing for nobody, my nigga. You ain't ain't nobody ever looked at you like, oh, that's that nigga. But some young niggas that you probably didn't deceive on the way up, but nobody give a fuck about no brother polite, and we damn sure don't give a fuck about Tommy Sotomayor. So I never said he didn't even he said you try to bring that shit on his show, and he like, nah, young man, I ain't doing that. You understand me? You trolling right now, brother polite. Your views ain't shit. Ain't nobody speaking your name. You understand me? So you trying to come up with some some dumb shit. You trying to support the champ, nigga? You understand me? The champ can't even motherfucking read. This, of course, the champ gonna be like, I'm buying whatever I want, nigga. I ain't following no trend. He can't follow a trend because if he follow the trend, then he gonna have to start reading shit. And we all know he can't read a spell. You understand me? 50 put that out there, man. He fucked up behind that shit. This is real shit. Y'all try to clown T.I. Oh, he just mad because of the tiny shit. Well, he came out with this shit, and it wasn't about no tiny shit. It was about Gucci, and then Mayweather was asked some questions and spoke some shit, and then T.I. responded. It wasn't about no motherfucking, um, no tiny. And even if he had some, some shit still in him about tiny, I'm quite sure this wasn't it. And like he said, tiny came back home, just like all the other hoes that Mayweather get. They leave him. So the champ must not be that hot. You understand me? Money don't make the man, man. Man make the money. You understand me? So you can have all that money, nigga, and you can talk all that big shit, but them hoes know. You understand me? If nobody else know, them hoes know, nigga. And that's why he ain't got one. That's why he ain't married. That's why he can't keep no bitch. That's why Nelly took his bitch. You understand me? Because these niggas that ain't really even got the bread that he got, he can't even compete with them because he ain't, he ain't got that shit in him. Or maybe he just ain't that good in bed. Pause. You understand me? But at the same time, man, all these clown ass niggas. It's a bunch of clown ass niggas when you look up, man. Every time black people try to come together and do something, niggas will try to tear it down and be like, oh, what about this? What about that, man? Fuck all that. It's this right now. We talking about this right now. You understand me? But I bet you if some shit come out about R. Kelly, then everybody want to jump on it. Oh, yeah, R. Kelly this, R. Kelly that. When it's time to tear a man down, a black man. You understand me? All these cool niggas, man, I see on the internet talking about they support Donald Trump. You understand me? Them two fat black chicks to always talking about Donald Trump this and Donald Trump that. I'm a Republican. How you a Republican and you broke? You ain't got no money. Where you live at? You feel me? If you still crying about crime, then you still living there. You understand me? It's crazy how motherfuckers be doing shit, man. It's, it's, it's crazy to me how it's so many coons in the world. We'll never be able to go to war with the white people because we'll always have to fight with these coon-ass niggas, man. Look, Rosa Parks fought for niggas to sit on the front of the bus or whatever she did. I don't really even fucking know. But black people like going to the back of the bus. I like sitting at the back of the bus. I don't like being in the front of the bus. You understand me? So your fight was for nothing. And she was light-skinned. You feel me? Martin Luther King stole that speech. Somebody gave him that speech. Nigga used to be beating on his wife and all type of shit. Nigga, it was plenty of people that was doing what Martin Luther King did. And they put their cameras on Martin Luther King because he was they coon. He was they nigga. They placed him there. He watered niggas down. And that's why niggas don't do nothing but talk nowadays and protest and march. Because that's the... The sucker way. That's the sucker way. Nobody talk about Malcolm. Michael Malcolm was about that violence. But then niggas would be like, oh, but when he came back from Mecca, he wasn't on that man. Fuck all that. We talking about the real Malcolm, not somebody that got so deep into the shit. He forgot what the mission really was. He went so deep. Sometimes you can go too deep. And when you go too deep, nobody want to fuck with you. You feel me? Because nobody really want to know the truth. They just want to win. That's it. They just want to win, man. So I know I'm all over the place with this shit. But at the end of the day, kids stop following sucker ass niggas like Brother Polite. Just because he dress hood like you. Because that nigga is about the dollar. He about the fame. That's what he about. He don't give a fuck about you. He don't give a fuck about you. None of these niggas do. 
They give a fuck about themselves. They give a fuck about that power they feel when you when you glorifying them. That's that's the only thing they give a fuck. Oh, that's a real nigga right there. That's my nigga. He helped me out in situations. And he'll throw it up in your face if y'all ever get into an argument, nigga. He ain't no real nigga, man. Ain't none of these niggas real. They all suckers. That's why I clown them like I do. And I sleep good because to me it's entertainment. I'm entertaining off you. <laughs> You the joke. You the joke, my nigga. So every time I see one of you suck ass niggas out there performing these sucker acts, man, I'm, I'm going to give me a couple of views off you. <laughs> you dig? <laughs>